toured with performers like Shirley Bassey before landing in jail in his 20s. Now at 70, the Indigenous artist is working on new material and helping the next generation along the way. Raveen Hunjan reports. Pushed us far away. After a lifetime of music, Vic Sims is guiding a new generation of Indigenous artists up to the microphone. I want to rub off on these kids. I want to say, listen, you could do what I could do. I hope it'll take me uh, to lead to bigger things, really, bigger gigs, happy life, being a very strong, independent black woman. Vic Sims became a chart topper at just 15. The Bidjigal man grew up at the Aboriginal mission in Sydney's La Perouse. His career was cut short when he was jailed for seven years for robbery. Bathurst jail was a tough jail. But Vic Sims eventually rediscovered his passion for music and even recorded an album behind bars. When you have a band, there was two murderers in it, there was a, there was a counterfeiter. <laughs> it's, just, it's just so unusual in, in music. 40 years on, Vic Sims has a new musical partner and is working on a new album. Me and him will go just play bar shows in Melbourne and just, you know, all the cool kids will come out and, and um, he's got this whole new audience of young people. He's given me a will to continue, you know, because I've seen, I've seen the talent in him. Even the walls have ears. The clapsticks and didgeridoo have been traded in for guitars, but a sense of history and community endures. That's what the um, culture's always been about, you know, passing down knowledge through generations and telling stories and singing songs. With Luke Peacock, Vic Sims' life of ups and downs has found another high note. Ravine Hunjan, ABC News.